One thing football fans here have in common, no matter what club they support, is a hatred of the police. After hearing seven of the nine security officials on trial were acquitted, dozens of Al-Ahli fans headed to the police building closest to the club stadium, setting ablaze and looting a police social club as well as the Football Federation building. Fans here are angry that most of the remaining 52 defendants of the Port Said trial were acquitted. But for some, like this man who lost his son in Port Said, the important thing is that no more blood is spilled. We're not happy with this verdict. The officers should have been sentenced to at least 25 years in prison. But we will have to accept it for the sake of the rest of our children, who are also football fans. I already lost one child. I can't bear the thought of losing more to these clashes. Initially at the Ahli Football Club, there were celebrations at the confirmation of the 21 death sentences given to rival al Masri fans in January. The death sentences are fair, but the verdict of the security director and the other officer is unjust. They should have been given death sentences as well, because they caused the death of our children with their extreme negligence. Other defendants, including city and stadium officials, received sentences between one and ten years, the mixed bag of verdicts causing more confusion than closure. After over a year and dozens of sentences handed down, there's still a feeling in the country that we're no closer to understanding exactly what happened the night of the football disaster and who is to blame. In Port Said, thousands rallied in the main square. People here feel their fans and officials are the scapegoats of this trial. The military has taken over security from the police in an attempt to prevent a repeat of what happened in January when over 40 died protesting the death sentences. But with people in both Port Said and Cairo feeling unsatisfied with the verdicts and so many questions surrounding the incident, many remain on edge, still waiting for justice. Shirin Tadros, Al Jazeera, Cairo.